in Luxembourg, the only remaining Grand Duchy in the world. Luxembourg is the second richest country in the world per capita. It's the most fortified country in Europe and one of the safest in the world. The name Luxembourg is derived from the name of its first castle, which roughly translates as Little Fortress. Since the 1960s, Luxembourg has been a tax haven of choice for corporations. With all of that, Luxembourg is one of the smallest and least populous countries in all of Europe. This is big. And small travel. We're in... Luxembourg. Luxembourg City. Explore Luxembourg City, outside of Luxembourg City. We biked from outside the center to the center on a path that was about five to six kilometers. You can also check out the Bach Casemates, a 21 kilometer underground tunnel network. Luxembourg City is very pedestrian friendly. We discovered and enjoyed the cuisine, the desserts. Especially the desserts and the quiche, a personal favorite of Biggs. <laughs> there are three official languages, Luxembourgish, French, and German. There is a surprise in this video. We go outside Luxembourg City, see the real Luxembourg. We are in small ancestral... You'll have to keep watching to see why. This is Oberdanvan. But before Luxembourg, we started our journey in Genoa, Italy. Northwestern Italy, the Ligurian region. We enjoyed our time there, as you can see. We actually did one of our favorite hikes in a nearby seaside town. Check out our video, link is right above. We enjoyed Genoa, its surrounding area, and its history. So from Genoa, Italy, we made our way to Milan and to Luxembourg. We're in Milan. Big travel day. We are going to Luxembourg. Ooh, my first time, big second time. Now I'm going to be going to Luxembourg to... We aren't just going as tourists, but to do something pretty major for me, small. Luxembourg air was wonderful. We were in a grand mood with our Prosecco and ready for Luxembourg. Good morning. Good morning from Luxembourg. We're outside the main area of Luxembourg city. Probably about five kilometers outside of the city. Yeah, it works. And you know, Luxembourg, as everyone will tell you, expensive is expensive. So we're staying outside the center. <laughs> so we are walking through a park right now and it looks like, it looks okay. Yeah. It looks like a, a park for families. Lots of yes. things for kids. So something interesting about Luxembourg, Lux Luxembourg has free public transportation. You can get to Luxembourg City by train, but to go out within the city and the suburbs, no. And they have a commitment to keeping Luxembourg clean, but it keeps the environment and protects the air quality here, which is very important. It's also Building to, big highways is not necessarily always the best thing for more car traffic. It's also to try to decrease the um, car usage here because Luxembourg's a tiny country. Very tiny. Let's show them And out. there it is. And uh, I think they have the most cars per person yeah. because I think it's a population of 600,000 or something. <laughs> well, we're here to obviously see what Luxembourg is all about, but also I am going through the process to be a citizen here. Woo! What? What? And um, I will talk about that a little bit. We took the bus to the center. Luxembourg is the first country in the world to offer nationwide free public transport. <laughs> first and 
Impressions Luxembourg. It's very quiet. Very quiet and quaint. And uh, I was expecting more French, but we keep coming across Italian stuff. Oh, I think he's speaking French. <laughs> We are in Luxembourg. This is the Bach in Luxembourg City, a very popular setting. This is the fortress erected in the 10th century. It's also the imposing rock promontory. There are tunnels called the Bach Casmates. They are consisting of about 21 kilometers, 14 miles of tunnels. Look at this wall. This is a fortified city. You know it's grander. Really, you don't think of Luxembourg as being one of the most fearsome fortified cities in historical Europe in the last five centuries, but it was. Pretty incredible to discover that here. But now I understand. If I was approaching this, I would be intimidated. And pretty impressive. It did defend the French areas, the Low Countries, to the Prussian areas which is now Germany, so a pretty big divide. The fortifications were built gradually over nine centuries, starting from the time of the founding of the city of Luxembourg in the 10th century. We recommend walking around the lower town, which is called the Groon District, along the river. Yeah. Pookie. <laughs> In Luxembourg, I believe that's the coat of arms. I should know that. <laughs> and this is Notre Dame. Wow, let's not take a look at in, this. Not the one in Paris. Paris. Not the one in Paris, but the This is the Grand Ducal Palace, the official residence of the Grand Duke of Luxembourg. This has been called the most beautiful balcony in Europe. This is Chamon de la Corniche. It offers a beautiful panorama of the valley of the Alzette and the city district of Guru. One of the better ideas here in Luxembourg City for sure is making use of the turbine space. They do have some issues with traffic outside, but they keep cars out mostly from the center and make it very good for pedestrians. It's awesome. Cool idea. Yeah. You can have kids play, but you can also take your shoes off and feel the sand. As far as the food, there are some Luxembourgish specialties, but you'll find a lot of French and German food as well. When in Luxembourg, check out Oberweiss. It's a place to get quiche and a lot of great sweets. You can also go a little off the beaten path and find a place like this. We are in Luxembourg City. We decided to get Indian Wonderful. vegetarian food. And here we are. I love tea. I decided to get some dishes of chai with milk. So to give you an idea of the prices, the samosa is three euros. This paratha, which we also had in Singapore and loved, this one is four euros. And we just got a side of roti, which is two euros. So 
And the tea was a little bit of a splurge. This one was three fifty. Luxembourg, eh? It's good though. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Definitely, Europe's are changing. We're at the edge of the city center here in Luxembourg City, and we're just wandering around, seeing what we can find. This looks like a World War II. Uh, memorial, so let's check it out. for a bike ride in Luxembourg they make it pretty easy so you'll find these velo stands uh, throughout the city and the easiest thing to do is download the app it's really easy to sign up and they actually have some offers so you get your first 30 minutes free but if you just want a full day 24 hours with the bike and you just signed up it's only two euros so that's what we did so it shows you the bikes available on the app and then you just slide it over which one you want press the button here and it releases the bike easy peasy very easy so we'll see how the ride is the church you just saw here when you see it on the main road turn off we'll, we'll provide a proper uh, some directions here and then you can go into the main park and ride into Luxembourg City let's go Luxembourg City it's really cool and it's a wide enough path that you'll see pedestrians other cyclists and you'll ride freely and better if you need to be careful with the Sun it seems fairly shaded it's a little hot today here in Luxembourg where are we so where we're staying in Fontania which is an area outside of the city we're easily accessible to this path which has been great it's uh, only for bicycles and pedestrians and it's mostly just a forested area we're following the river into the city in the middle of Luxembourg and it's mostly just forested area you can follow the river the whole way yeah it's a little further than I thought but we're making our way to the Grund area and lovely little neighborhoods that you go through very calm peaceful very peaceful i think this is my favorite attraction here in luxembourg yeah there's lots of trails too i see the stairs going up obviously you can't go there with your bike but it seems like a lot of outdoor activities you can do super close to the center i mean it very doesn't close. look like we're near a, a city you know i know really really symbolizing the rural heart and history of Luxembourg. So we made it to the Grund. This is a medieval district, obviously known for its very charming architecture and being obviously fans of this. Lovers of Italy, this is wonderful, beautiful. We have our bikes, which in the end were really good, only four euros. Only four euros for these bikes. 
but overall I would say these bikes were well worth it. Four euros for two bikes and it was beautiful, very fun. Torta de fromage. How do you save money in Luxembourg? You can. It's cheaper than I thought. How much do you think this is? Make a piece of cheesecake. In USD, a little less than three dollars. Two euros sixty. We are going to the beer hair center and I have an appointment and you'll see what for very soon. So I am here in Luxembourg to become a citizen here and I just had my official appointment where I turned in all my paperwork and I'll be getting the official documents in about four months and I will be a Luxembourg citizen then. We took the bus out here. We are in Small's ancestral town. This is Oberdan Van, right? Oberdan Van. <laughs> and it's a tiny town in the middle of farmland, it looks like. And this is where my ancestors were. And I was able to track them back as far as 1760. So we're going to walk around and see how it looks. Let's go. So I know that my great-grandmother was a child when her family left here and that was I believe 1890s, 1880s, 1890s and they set off for what is now the United States of America. It's just uh, farmland from here and you can walk from end to end of town in maybe eight minutes maybe even less than maybe that even less, yes so what i know is the last census here was like from 2003 so over 15 years ago and that showed that there was a population of about 150 here yeah it's just a very quiet small town very nice and you know once you get out of Luxembourg City, it seems like most of it is just this farmland. And of course, Luxembourg, the country, is tiny. As I said, we're almost in Germany. And we only went like 12 miles. Let's, we should show the map. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> People are saying hi to us. We're wandering through a small town in Luxembourg. And one of the things that I've noticed already is people looking, smiling, and saying hi. That's a very good sign. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Okay. So yeah, I found out that I have a great grandmother who is from this town, and her family goes back quite a few generations. I was able to track it back to my great, 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 great grandfather in this little town of Luxembourg. And it probably goes back further than that. And we are about five kilometers from the center of Luxembourg. There's all this land. Overdevelopment is not a priority or a consideration here. Like we've discussed before, I mean, Luxembourg has historically been a rural farming country. So Luxembourg is dedicated to helping out the environment. We talked about the trains that they're working on for less car traffic. They also have abandoned the use of all pesticides and GMOs in all of the public spaces here. So you are actually going to see a lot of bees and maybe some insects, but that's all great. It's, they're doing their pollination and uh, helping the environment. Check this out. Well, if you're on a budget, the mall does help in getting water. Yeah, there's a very big uh, supermarket here. So if you are staying somewhere that has a kitchen or you just need some snacks, this is a good spot to go. It's pretty budget friendly. Our short trip to Luxembourg was over. It was time to go. We just got 
to the airport, take advantage of the free transportation. It's kind of free right now, even though it's unofficially free, the buses, but bus drivers do accept payment, but they don't expect payment. Yeah, pretty good. This country is very small, so they can afford to do this, which is a really good benefit. We hope you enjoyed our video in Luxembourg. Please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell to get all of our updates. Thank you. Danke. Merci. Ciao.